So you think it's time to step up to a bigger boat. You've been boating for a little while now and that first boat you had just doesn't have the same luster. Maybe you broke down, maybe you got towed in by a pontoon and were like, man, I'm ready to upgrade and step up my game. It happens to all of us at some point in our boating life, we catch that dreaded disease, two-foot-itis. And we're gonna talk a little bit about that today on whether or not you should actually upgrade your boat or not. Speaking of upgrades, Road Trip A1A got a cup upgrade this week as he was last week's winner of our Drain Plug Mafia Tumblr. It always feels good to give stuff away, so we're gonna go ahead and do it again this week. Really simple, all you have to do, hit the like button right now, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, and leave a comment below, and we're gonna pick somebody to win a Drain Plug Mafia Tumblr this week as well. In your comment, go ahead and let me know if you could upgrade your boat, what kind of boat you would upgrade to. But let's go ahead and get this week's episode of Boneheaded Boaters of the Week started. Now, there are many reasons why you may want to upgrade your vessel. One of the most common ones is maybe your current situation has outgrown the vessel that you have, or maybe your lifestyle has changed, and maybe you're an offshore boy now, and you need something that can handle those waves a little better than the vessel you originally bought. Or maybe your boat's just starting to lose some of that original luster it had when you bought it, or maybe it's starting to need repairs, and you're trying to determine whether or not you want to spend the money on going ahead and replacing that interior, or going ahead and stepping up and starting to look for that new boat. Now when you go to start looking for a new boat, one of the most common parts of this is going to be the two-foot-itis we talked about earlier. So if you're new to boating, maybe wondering what two-foot-itis is. Well, two-foot-itis is where you bought a 21-foot boat, and the next thing you know, you were wishing you bought a 23-foot boat because why not? That bigger boat can just do things better. Sure, a smaller boat might be a little easier to manage, but you've been boating for a while now and you're ready to step up to the big boy toys. So you may be wondering what is the cause of the dreaded boating disease two-foot-itis? Well, there's no scientific proof behind it yet, but I firmly believe one of the main causes is called keeping up with the Joneses. You were likely out on your lake and saw a big beautiful boat pass by and thought, man, I need that in my life. Not realizing that big boats come with big boat problems. And one of the first things you'll notice that's one of those big boat problems is your larger vessel that you're looking at getting is not going to quite handle the same as your smaller boat. It's also not going to fit into some of the same spots that your smaller boat did. So that's one thing you're going to want to look at before you go out there and pull the trigger on that boat upgrade is make sure your boat's going to be able to go and do some of the things you still want it to do. For example, if you liked towing your boat to different lakes, can you still do that with the boat that you're looking to upgrade to? Also, you need to look at your lifestyle. Do you enjoy boating alone or would you rather have people around? If you're that guy who likes to go out on the boat on your own, you've really got to watch it when you start upgrading to a bigger boat and make sure you're able to handle that boat on your own without having any assistance around. And of course, there's cost. Obviously, if you're upgrading to a like boat to what you have now, if you're going bigger, you're likely going to burn more fuel than you did in the small boat. And of course, when things go wrong on your bigger boat, they're going to have an elevated cost as well, and it's probably going to cost a little more to fix than the little boat did also. Now, as we mentioned earlier, one of the other downfalls of upgrading to a larger boat is it may restrict your access on your waterways, and you may not fit in some of the same spots you once did on your smaller vessel. So before you go out and just upgrade to a bigger vessel, you're definitely going to want to make sure you check all the specs of this vessel compared to the places you enjoy boating, because nothing stinks more than going out thinking you're buying something you and your family are going to enjoy out on the water, only to discover that your favorite restaurant you and your crew go to on Sundays doesn't have a dock big enough for your boat, or that your favorite sandbar you guys go to every weekend as well, the boat's draft's too deep and you can't get there anymore. Yeah, aiming right for it. Right over the rock at a two foot tide. And there's the hit. Uh, his props just walked right over that rock. And don't get me wrong, there are definitely reasons to upgrade your boat. So if you've all of a sudden become one of those offshore boys and you're heading out offshore fishing every weekend, a bigger boat's definitely going to give you more days and more comfort out on the water. But before you just go out and let the two foot itis scratch at your back and you pull the trigger on the bigger boat, you're just going to want to make sure that that upgrade is actually right for you. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Boneheaded Boaters of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening out on your waterways, be sure to hit me up on Facebook or Instagram and let me know and you might see your stories over here. Just like Charlie 17 Dennis Yanannis, Jeff Hoffman, Jimmy Johnson, John Lejean March, Kevin Wright, 
Leslie Pierce, Mateus Rognalier, Ryder Gray, Russell Clint 9, Salty Lifestyles, and Seamus Wassum did this week. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.